Today we got the worst selling products from ASOS, AKA the items that everybody saw on the website but hated so much that no one bought them. Until now. I spent almost $500 on seven items and it's mostly one item's fault because even on clearance, it was so expensive. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss out on that little gem. Okay, so here's how we find the absolute worst sellers. We're gonna go to the sale section, AKA the outlet section, because obviously the stuff that's on sale is the stuff nobody wanted. Do you like how I give you the most detailed instructions ever? Like anybody's actually gonna go do this. I actually think I wanna start with gem suits and rompers. But the next step is important. You have to sort it by best seller, which this one automatically is. The best of the worst selling is at the top here, but we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay, we need to select the size. And of course, ASOS has every size under the sun. So we'll just, we'll pick, sure. Can we just pause for a second and reiterate how messy the sizing is on this website? I get that they're an international site in all different areas of the world do sizing different, but like pick one. I would much rather learn how to read a brand new size chart than deal with this every time I'm looking for stuff. Which brings us to, oh, this little number. Okay, it's not bad. The lace is quite pretty. And it's actually a pretty good deal, 2160. There it is, the petite jumper. Somehow I missed that glaringly obvious detail in the listing, and I'm not a petite human, so. Oh no. I mean, it is a UK size 10. Okay, not bad. Not great, but not bad quality wise. But is it gonna fit is the question. It might. It's a little short. <laughs> oh, I can already feel it riding up. Okay, so here's a refresher of what it looked like on the model, and here's what it looks like on me. At a glance, not bad, but <laughs> it's the length. I'm wondering if because it's a petite, that's why it wasn't selling well, because like even if you are a shorter person, I think we all agree, we would choose to have more room in the torso rather than less. Oh, this is giving me front wedgy. I don't even want to try to zip it up all the way. Oh, these shorts are awful. Like you would think they'd be like spandexy. No, no stretch. They're like the cheapest material. Okay. Well, I think we can all agree that this one didn't work out. Let's get some jeans next. I feel like the worst selling jeans are always so out there. <laughs> okay. We'll just pick some random sizes that I hope fit <laughs> and scroll to the bottom. Oh, oh, okay. I keep talking about how I've been wanting to try jeans like this. Am I ever actually gonna wear them? I don't know, but hey, they're $11. <laughs> okay, people are saying they run small. Oh shoot, 26 is the only size left. Oh, wish me luck. We need a chat. So it's short season, it's swimsuit season. And every week I still get DMs from people asking where my at-home laser hair removal device is from. It's Kenzie. A couple years ago, I went and got professional laser hair removal done. And overall, it was a pretty disappointing experience. So I'm here to tell you, save yourself and do it yourself for a lot cheaper. This little guy uses IPL technology. It's gonna last you 10 years. You can use it on any part of your body, everything from your face to your toes. The worst thing for me, especially in the summer, are the ingrown hairs and the razor burn, oh, it's so uncomfortable. And my hair's pretty dark and thick, so I feel like it's very noticeable on me, but this helps so much with that. The other nice thing about this little guy is it doesn't hurt. Laser hair removal can be so painful, but this is not bad at all. And there are different settings if you wanna start at a lower setting and slowly work your way up. It is designed for you to start seeing results in three to four weeks and full results around 12 weeks. Thanks, Kenzie, for sponsoring today's video. They're offering you guys a special discount code if you go to Kenzie.com, K-E-N-Z, zzi.com and use code 50 hope for $50 off. I will have a link at the top of my description that you can click to get your very own Kenzie. Let's get a top to go with our jeans. Okay, 652 results to the bottom we go and we get a, <gasps> stop it. You're trying to tell me that's the worst selling t-shirt. Where's the taste? Look, are you, oh, I love this. The color, the dolphins, I love a good oversized tee. Give it to me. Yeah, these don't fit at all. And I'm actually quite bummed about it because I was excited to finally try this style of jean. <laughs> I was feeling brave, but the reviews weren't wrong. They didn't even make it like past my knees. The waistband just has no give to it. Cause there's a lot of jeans that like, you gotta work to get it over your butt, but these just weren't happening. <laughs> Let me reiterate how much I hate the sizing. I feel like I walked away from that site more confused about my body than ever. Like what size am I? <laughs> Let me know what you think about this under the butt cutout jean trend though. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Oh, here we go. Finally, we have a winner. <laughs> this is adorable. It's giving me like mom in the 90s on vacation. <laughs> 
I love it though. I'm gonna wear this all the time. I have zero complaints about this. There's nothing quality about it. Like actually the stitching on this is horrible and there's a good chance it'll fall apart. Until then, I'm gonna rock the heck out of this. Ooh, and then I got the worst selling handbag. I was gonna make like a whole little outfit out of this, but obviously the jeans didn't work out. It is the super ruched shoulder bag. Ugh. Why does it smell like jerky? Ah, I feel like this is a trend that's coming into style. This like whatever this is, the ruched handle. I think it's weird. They claim that this was $29 at one point. It was on sale for 14. I don't buy it. I feel like I could find something better than this at TJ Maxx for less than $29, but. Oh, and then we can't forget the worst rated shoes to complete the look, the Cupid Fluffy Strap Slipper. They're a little small, even though they're my exact size. They were 43 and I got them for 18.20. Never were these worth $43. They're cheap, they don't stay on very well, but like I'll wear them around the house, you know? Moving on to the absolute worst selling dress on this website. Um, Very much girl from Napoleon Dynamite. Deb! Deb at the dance! That's what this dress is! <laughs> Interesting. I hate to say I'm not surprised that this is the worst selling dress. There is just too much going on here. Like, love a good puff sleeve, love some ruching, but oh my. We should need to chop off the whole bottom of the dress. No, oh, oh. It just, it doesn't look like it even fits her. Oh no, did anybody buy this? Reminds me of an 80s prom dress, beautiful dress. Listen, verified purchaser, let's not give this dress more hype than it deserves, but also let's buy it. I don't know if this is my size. I'm sorry, $357? This is terrible. <laughs> it was not enjoyable to put on, first of all, and now that it's on, I'm still not enjoying it. It is so cheap. It feels like a Halloween costume, or like when you were in a theater play in high school, this would be the costume. <laughs> There's no way this is worth more than $40, let alone two or 300. I'm blown away right now, honestly. I didn't mean for this whole video to just turn into me roasting ASOS as a company, but I don't remember it being this bad. Like, I thought I was ordering from a reputable site, not wish.com. I don't even know what to say. I don't even think you could salvage it because this doesn't cover the whole bum. This zipper is the worst quality ever. Can't get it to zip up. Now I know it's just the quality. It's not even the design. I think had it been better put together, it actually wouldn't be a terrible dress. Like this is literally tablecloth material. This was the second worst selling handbag and I couldn't just not get it. Claudia Canova. Ah, <laughs> look at it. Oh, I love it. It's called the mock croc mini bag. Okay, I'm not mad at this purchase at all. I was like fully prepared to absolutely hate it. Cause like, what are you gonna fit in here? A credit card? I feel like this design is copying someone though, like maybe Balenciaga? Yes, this is 100% knocking off the Balenciaga mini bags. Ah! Look at it! That and my dolphin t-shirt are the best part of this haul easily. This was 49 and now 29. A steal! The worst part about this haul though is like, what am I supposed to do with all this now? What am I supposed to do with all this now? now? subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future videos. And Leo and I picked out some other videos that we thought you might enjoy in the meantime. And we will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.